What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well up on this midweek Wednesday. Doing well myself. Got a question for you my people. How many times do you have to go before a judge before they just really just lose it on you and just say they're just going to throw the book at you because you stay in front of them. You understand? It's always something with you. You're always into some mess, you know, and what have you. You know, as many times you go before a judge in a court, that's what's going to wind up happening. Your favor is going to run out one day, you know, as it is in this particular case right here. With YouTube, judge rules YouTube, Facebook, and Reddit must face lawsuits claiming they help radicalize a mass shooter. Okay. And this is the mass shooter right here. You know, um, Peyton Gentron back in 2022 in Buffalo, New York at a uh, grocery store that went in and just massacred unarmed, you know, uh, people of the book. Like these sort of subs like to do. You know, um, they get radicalized, but they have platforms who back them up. Now, while these platforms should be looking out for these type of people that come on the platform to get radicalized, they spend their time harassing channels that they are biased towards because that channel, you know, may have said something about some other crook or whatever that offended them. You understand? So what they do, they spend most of their time hassling that particular channel, you know, leading themselves open, you know, for a, <laughs> a much more serious situation as this. You see what I'm saying? Now, it says here, a wrongful death lawsuit against several social media platforms brought on by the Buffalo, New York mass shooting perpetrator, well, perpetrated by Payne Gentron has been allowed to move forward by a judge, okay? Yeah, that's right. And rightfully so, man. You know what I mean? Like I said, these people need to get their priorities straight before they don't have any priorities to get straight, okay? Now to get into this particular article right here, it says a New York State judge on Monday denied a motion to dismiss a lawsuit against several social media companies alleging the platform contributed to the radicalization of a gunman who killed 10 people at a grocery store in Buffalo, New York in 2022. Court documents show the court has determined the complaint sufficiently pleads viable causes of action to go forward at this stage of the litigation, said Erie County Supreme Court Justice Paula Ferralato. I guess Ferralato might be mispronouncing your name, you know, um, but uh, nevertheless, it goes on to say here, um, in her decision, the judge said that the plaintiffs may proceed with their lawsuit, which claims social media companies like Meta, Alphabet, Reddit, and 4chan profit from the racist, anti-Semitic, and violent material displayed on their platforms to maximize users' engagement, including the time then 18-year-old Payne Gentron spent on their platform viewing that material. Attorneys for the social media companies named in the lawsuit file a motion to dismiss, saying the companies are akin, well, akin to message boards containing third-party content court document show ha <laughs> yeah right don't even try it the way y'all be on these boards these message boards and all that old comment boards you're racing comments somebody can say hi i really like your channel you put out real good content slash gone just like that don't even try it let's continue however plaintiffs contend the defendants platform are more than just message boards the court document says they allege they are sophisticated products designed to be additives to young users and they specifically directed Gentron to further platforms of posting while well, postings that indoctrinated him with white replacement theory, the decision read. Well read. It is far too early to rule as a matter of the law that the actions of inaction of the social media internet defendants through their platforms require dismissal, said the judge. Okay. Now, win, lose, or draw this case. The thing is, is this. 
these social media platforms are going to court and it's a good chance they will lose and they're going to be sued because that's exactly what Peyton Gentron was where he got all this radicalization from they are saying this and a lot of us have seen these things on these platforms where you get some uncivilized sub that will come on your page and say some very racist or whatever now these comments they tend to always stay up you know what I mean unless you do the erasing okay so hey it is what it is man now to continue here uh, CNN has reached out to Meta for comment YouTube spokesperson Jose Castaneda provided a statement to CNN expressing sympathy for the victims and families of the attack and saying that YouTube has invested in technology and policies to identify and remove extremist content. So, is uh, like I said, uh, hey, I really like your channel. You're doing real good work. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm a new sub or whatever. That's extremist content right there? No. No, but it gets erased a lot of times. I'm constantly having people coming on this on my page telling me this is the second or third comment that's just been erased just like that. So come on. <laughs> come on now. Let's continue. While we disagree with today's decision and will be appealing, we will continue to work with law enforcement and other platforms and civil society to share intelligence and best practices. The statement said in a statement to CNN, Reddit said, Hate and violence have no place on Reddit. Now, now that they're answering to this, yeah, now, but before, right, okay, but whatever, let's continue. Our statewide policies explicitly, explicitly prohibit content that promotes hate based on identity or vulnerability, as well as content that encourages, uh, glorifies, incite, or calls for violence or physical harm against an individual or group of people. We are constantly evaluating ways to improve our detection and remove of this content, including through enhanced image hashing systems. And we will continue to review the communities, uh, well, communities on our platform to ensure they are upholding our rules, okay? Well, that may sound all well and good, but as for now, you're going to court. That's just all there is to it. Too bad y'all didn't have all this PR saying before this particular situation right here happened. Word of advice. Spend more time on losers like this that come on these platforms erasing their comments than just harassing channels just because you are biased. And I'm telling you, a lot of these YouTube moderators are doing this. You're biased to what the content creator is talking about. So you got a little hate going for them, a little rivalry going against them. And you're using this, you know, platform right here to go after their channel. That's basically all it boils down to. Okay. Because here's the deal. No matter how big a giant that you are in this life, you are never too big to fall. Okay. That's just what it is. That's all I got on this one, people. I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular uh, story right here. I'm interested in hearing your uh, thoughts on it in the comment section. If you can comment, make sure you like this video and share it. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.